क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दी सम ऑफ द डिजिट्स ऑफ ए टू डिजिट नंबर इज टेन इफ एटीन बी सब्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट द डिजिट्स इन द रिजल्टिंग नंबर विल बी इक्वल द नंबर इज ऑप्शन ए इज थर्टी सेवन बी इज सेवेंटी थ्री सी इज सेवेंटी फाइव एंड डी इज नन ऑफ दीज नाउ इफ वी अटेम्प्ट this question from subjective question point of view then the question seems a difficult one but if we take the options one by one then the then the question is simple one now we take options one by one first option is 37 now 37 is two digit number sum of the digits is 3 plus 7 which is 10 this is okay now if 18 is subtracted from it then what we obtain is 19 and surely the resulting number 19 does not have the digits equal so our option a is not the correct option now we see the option b option b is the number given is 73 sum of the digits is 10 Seven plus three is ten. This is okay. Now, if eighteen is subtracted from it, then what we obtain is fifty-five, and the resulting number fifty-five has both the digits as same. So this option is correct, and we will not go for other options. So our option B here is correct option. Next question is question number five. The fourth part of a number exceeds the sixth part by four. The number is options are given to us. Now let us say that the number is x. We assume that the number is x. Fourth part of the number means x upon four. Sixth part of the number is x upon six. now according to the question this exceeds this sixth part by 4 so x upon 4 minus x upon 6 is equal to 4 this is the equation we can frame now solve this equation for x so this implies lcm is 12 we get here 3x minus 2x This is equal to four. This gives us x is equal to twelve into four, which is forty-eight. So our option C here is correct option. Now, if we see this question from objectives, first objective is eighty-four. So eighty-four divided by four is the fourth part. Which is equal to twenty one. Sixth part eighty four divided by six is the sixth part. This is equal to fourteen. Twenty one minus fourteen will be the difference of it, which is not equal to four because twenty one minus fourteen is seven. Which is not four. So here, our option A is not the correct option. Now see the option forty-four. Eighty forty-four divided by four will be the fourth part of it, which is eleven. Forty-four divided by six will be the sixth part, which will be in fraction. So. this option is also not the correct option now when we see the option c which is 48 so 48 divided by 4 which is equal to 12 and 48 divided by 6 which is equal to 8 so 12 minus 8 is the fourth part exceeding the sixth part Which is equal to four, which is correct, and hence our option C here is 
correct. Question number six. Ten years ago, the age of a father was four times that of his son. Ten years hence, the age of the father will be twice that of his son. The present age of father and son are Option A is 50, 20, B is 60, 20, C is 55, 25, and D is none of these. Now, we take option A. 50 years here is the father's age, 20 years is the age of the son. Now, 10 years before, because it is the present age, so 10 years before the Father age was 40 years and that of son was 10. So it is true that it is 4 times that of 10. So this statement is correct that the 10 years ago age of father was 4 times that of his son. This is correct. First condition is okay. Now the second condition is 10 years hence means after 10 years. After 10 years, age of the father will be 60 and that of son will be 20 plus 10 which is 30 and surely 60 is 2 times that of 30. So second condition is also correct that 10 years hence the age of father will be twice the age of his son and hence here option A is correct option. Now. Suppose the options are not given, then how will we solve this question? We assume that the age of father is x years, present age is x years and age of son is y year. The present age of father is x and present age of son is y years. Now 10 years ago before means we are to subtract 10 from it and 10 from the age of the son. So 10 years ago father age was x minus 10, age of son was y minus 10 years. This was 4 times means I am to multiply 4 to the age of the son to equate. And hence I obtain one equation. So this is my first equation. First equation is x minus 10 equal to 4 within bracket y minus 10. Second condition 10 years hence means age of father after 10 years will be x plus 10. Age of son after 10 years will be y plus 10. This is twice. So here I am to now multiply by 2. For framing the equation, I am to multiply the age of son by 2 to obtain the age of father. Now this is my second equation. Solving for x and y the simultaneous equation I will be obtaining the present age of father and the son. Now equation first gives us x minus 10 equal to 4y minus 40. This implies x minus 4y equal to minus 30. Second equation gives me x plus 10 equal to 2y plus 20. This gives me x minus 2y equal to 10. This is I obtain from second equation. Now if I subtract these two equations, let us say this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4. Now subtracting equation 3 and 4 will give me minus 4y plus 2y. will be equal to minus 30 minus 10. This, is, this gives us 
minus 2y equal to minus 40 means y equal to minus 40 upon minus 2 which is equal to 20. Now 20 I put in any of the equations I put it here so x minus 4 into 20 equal to minus 30 this implies x minus 80 equal to minus 30 this gives me x is equal to 50 80 minus 30 by transposing I get which is equal to 50 that is the age of father which is x is 50 years and age of son which is y years is equal to 20 years which is our option A.